welcome back. Now our next guest is one of the most gifted rugby players of his generation. Yes, he's already racked up a Grand Slam, a European Champions Cup, and he's only getting started. Good morning to you, Joey Carberry. Morning, guys. Thanks for having me. Ah, listen, great to have you. Uh, listen, I suppose, where do we start? We have to talk about the weekend, really. I mean, I just think the atmosphere over there, mm. so much pressure on your shoulders going into that game. Uh, the, the, the start, Ireland coming back. I mean, what has been the reaction from inside the camp? Because I'm sure you've had a debrief, you look back at it. What's been the, the reaction from the coaches and yourselves? Um, yeah, um, I think we're obviously all very disappointed with the result, but um, we showed great, great positives throughout the game. We came back quite well. Um, and yeah, I think, I think um, just disappointed with the result because it was, it was there to be won. Um, but the atmosphere was incredible and on a personal level, um, obviously very proud to have got my first Six Nations start and um, what better place to do it. And Joey, the thing is, there was so much pressure on you because, as you mentioned, it was your first start in the Six Nations. So having that pressure, knowing people were going to be looking at you, comparing you to Johnny, did that bring added pe pressure? Are you like, this is my job. I'm a professional athlete. I've been dying for this day. Yeah, I think I looked at it that way. Um, I was more excited to get out there and... I was just focusing on what I needed to do during the week. I was just really excited and really looking forward to it. And um, it was obviously a tough result, but our team, I thought, played quite well. Uh, so, yeah, look, um, disappointed, but on a personal level, I was, I, I, was, I was pretty happy. I'd say you're delighted. I mean, to, na to nail those touchline mm. conversions, to go, to be behind a pack that was finding it difficult with the size of the French as well. Um, talk to me about inside camp, because listen, I know what it's like. I know the competitiveness and I know exactly how the, the players relish that. So yourself and Johnny and Jack Carty, like, is it, is, is it as competitive as it always is? Because, well, listen, I know what Johnny's like. You know it's going to be a battle. So to get that chance, it must have been a brilliant Let's get the Johnny Goss, guys. Both of you just have an inside goal. Well, listen, Go on. But listen, you want to get your opportunities and you haven't had many. So to get that start must have been brilliant for you. Yeah, massively, and I, I don't think anyone, um, anyone as a professional athlete wants to see anyone get injured because we've all been through. Personally, I've been through um, a lot of injuries, and we know I know how frustrating it is. But um, for me personally, to get out there and uh, get my get my opportunity, it was great. Um, but I think on the on, on the note of competitiveness, I think it's hugely beneficial for a squad. Um, it kind of means you have to go out every training session and put your best foot forward. Um, and, and it's quite obvious then when you don't. So having two incredibly good tens um, and myself then as well, trying to push for the one place, it's, uh, it, we, I think we, it all makes us all better. Um, and then you can say that throughout the whole 23. Um, I think everyone's pushing for certain positions and our depth is quite good. So being able to push each other, um, it's, it's, it's really important for the team. Joey, we all know that Johnny's in a very famous ad where he's chucking melons about a shop. Has he ever had melons chucked? Do you ever throw melons at him when you're in camp just to <laughs> line up to be like, you're not better? Are there melons everywhere around him, no? <laughs> There's not, but it's not a bad idea. Do it. I <laughs> want that. Lob topic. one at his head. <laughs> there you go. You got to have fun. Skin. You got to have fun. <laughs> Uh, can Good I, for the reactions. Yeah. Can I ask you about, listen, you've had a, such a difficult time. It's been well documented, your injuries. You broke your elbow just before the Six Nations to come back from that. But you're, you spent such a long time in the sidelines before that. Like, how do you keep fighting to come back, Joey? Because your mental resilience is just phenomenal. I think the injuries have taught me that. Um, I've got mentally a lot stronger, um, but I've had a lot of help as well. Um, I think the Tack Your Feelings campaign that uh, we're talking about today um, helped me a lot with their app. Um, it gives me great coping mechanisms and support networks. Um, like I would have my own personal support networks and my my uh, my fiance and my friends and my family and being able to go to them with problems and to know I'm not dealing with it by myself um, personally helped me a lot, but being able to use the mindfulness and the breathing techniques on the app, the Tackle Your Feelings app, it's, um, it, it all helps. Um, and I think 
it makes me incredibly grateful to be back playing and having gone through what I've gone through. I think, listen, you're a true testament to that as well because anybody had to deal with the setbacks and the knocks that you've had over the past while and to show that you can bounce right back to it, that Tackle Your Feelings app, if that's what <laughs> helps. Everybody can use it and good on you. Listen, can I ask you, you're obviously in a down week, there's no Six Nations this week. Are you, uh, what's the plan? So you're not heading off to Portugal like you were before the Six Nations, getting another tan, no? Unfortunately not. I'm taking it easy. We're back into camp um, tomorrow and Friday. So um, been off since we got home on Sunday. Just been chilling really. It's nice to be home. Um, you probably know yourself when you're involved in camp, you don't get home that often. Um, so nice to be home for a few days. Well, are you not, do you not have the Excel sheets out? Because I think you and I actually got engaged on the same day. I'm not doing any work uh, to do with that. Are you planning the wedding, Joey? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I suppose we are. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I'm I'm doing a little bit, I suppose, but not as much as Robin is. But uh, no, we're, we're a few things in mind. Hopefully, after the Six Nations, do a bit more. Um, uh, go go visit a few venues, maybe, or something like that. Good stuff. How's well, everything going with yours? Uh, well, I've done, I haven't done a tap. If you want to pass everything on to me, because I'm not going to do any work, I'll just I'll just copy yours. That'd be great. Uh, can we? Uh, can I get an I invite to in. yours? Because Murren's <laughs> definitely not going to invite me to hers. That's for sure. <laughs> Um, listen, Joey, uh, congratulations on the weekend. I know we didn't get the result we wanted, but I think from an individual Fantastic. performance, and hopefully we see a lot more of that over the next couple of weeks. Thanks so much for chatting to us this morning. Brilliant. Thank you very much, guys.